I want to get to Pedro Payano, and then that will be it here for today. Pedro Payano this year uh, has had a good year, split between AA and AAA, and then yesterday was really good for the Rangers, allowing a run over five innings with seven strikeouts against the Mariners. I saw Pedro Payano last year. I saw him in AA. And let me tell you something, he wasn't very good. You know, there's certain guys who, and there's nothing wrong with this. To be a professional baseball player is impressive. There's certain guys who, they're, they're minor leaguers, and that's all they're going to be. You know, they're just guys to fill roster spots. Maybe they're, they're hard workers, good veteran presences that you like to have on, you know, a double-A team or a triple-A team, but they're not. They're not major league players. When I saw Pedro Payano last year at 23 years old, that was my thought. This guy, this guy's not a major leaguer. Well, this year, Pedro Payano has made changes. The velocity's up a little bit. The swing and miss is up big time. He's added, uh, or has improved his secondary pitches. Last year, in about 117 innings, he struck out like 88 batters. That's way less than a strikeout per inning. This year, in about, I think it's like 70 some odd innings combined, he struck out 90 guys, or right around there. He's now striking out more than a batter per inning. And it's just a reminder that we can think we see everything there is to see about a guy who's 22, 23, 24, heck, even 26, 27. Guys develop at different paces. And guys can develop. Guys can get better. And so Pedro Payano is just an example of the, the bigger message here. As we evaluate young guys, some guys won't ever get better. Some guys will. And there's no way of knowing for sure. But Pedro Payano, watching him last night, I never would have guessed that Pedro Payano would have in any situation, even on his best day, when I saw him last year, there was no way that on his best day he could have given up one run over five innings with seven strikeouts against any major league lineup. I just never would have believed it. Guys get better. And as we evaluate guys now and in the future, that is a big possibility that guys get better. I know that I'm not saying anything mind-blowing, but I think sometimes we get so stuck on the now and, well, how can this guy ever get better? You know, he's hitting one this or two that with nothing here and nothing there. And, you know, I'm not just mentioning, I'm not thinking about Ruggie here. I'm even thinking about Ronald Guzman, who was sent down. Uh, just because Ronald Guzman's numbers are what they are right now doesn't mean that with work he can't get better. Uh, and I thought Pedro Payano was a great example of that last night.